The traffic in New York City making its way back and forth between Manhattan and the borough of Brooklyn. Our setting tonight. Welcome to the weekend, everybody. Let's get it going with NBA action. Ananobi is outside at three with Ibaka down at power forward. Ari out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Gasol at the five down low. And for the Nets, Durant is out there with Duncan. Then it's Kyrie Irving. Then it's Jordan. And it's Hardaway in at the two-guard position. Two terrific defenses tonight, Greg. They do it in a variety of ways. It's been hard for either team to score. You know, strong on ball, in help, in transition, and both coaches doing such a great job of making the adjustments. And listen, the reality is defense still can be a factor in determining who wins and who loses. And we're seeing it right before our eyes. And so it's the Nets getting on the board first. Ari finds Ibaka, and Durant sends it back. Lowry passes to Gasol. Just five on the clock. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. A good find by Kyle Lowry. Doesn't always get enough credit for his vision. At the elbow, it's Junior. That one drops for him. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. The Raptors have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Van Vliet passes to Ibaka. Here's Lowry out to Ibaka from outside the arc. Rebound, Brooklyn. Last time they met was in Toronto where they beat the Raptors. And it was pretty much a cakewalk for them the last time these two squared off. And had a clear advantage on the backboard. They generated second chance opportunities on one end, preventing them on the other end. That was the story of the game. Now here's Lowry. Nine points last game out. I'll tell you what, Lowry has a number of ways to beat you from the mid-range. Duncan dishes to Jordan. Back to Duncan. And Junior throws it down hard. Statement finish. Junior putting a little extra on that move, trying to get into the other team's head. Lowry against Irving. Lowry drives in. He can't hit that time. Good D by Jordan. And it's sent back by Irving. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Here's Junior, and Junior throws it down. That play is made because of Kyrie's vision and his willingness to share the basketball. Van Vliet looking around. Now here is Lowry. Scoring-wise, he's definitely making his mark. Right now, he's averaging about 19 points a game. Lowry knows the contact is coming, really demonstrating his strength. The Raptors shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Now the pass to Hardaway. Here's Junior, and it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. Junior's got eight. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. Passes it to Ananobi. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Irving against Lowry. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And that 84% free throw percentage is a testament to all the hard work he's put in on the line. And so he hits the technical free throw. And a discussion of great two-way players in this league. Sometimes Lowry gets overlooked, and that's a mistake. Now, here's Ananobi. 11 points for him in that last game against Miami. And his defense was absolutely outstanding, especially his two blocks, which helped turn the game. Here's Hardaway. Leading by five. Durant, no good. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Duncan with the block. Great awareness on the defensive end. Junior relishes any chance he gets to rise up and block it. Durant in the corner. Pass to Duncan. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. They get Marcus Gasol. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. What I love about Junior, he's got grit and tenacity. He's always looking for ways to improve. 
Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Jared Allen comes in for DeAndre Jordan. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Here's Noel. Coming off a solid outing against Miami. Here's Van Vliet. Allen with the rebound. That's leading by five. To the paint. And it's Allen slamming it down. Flushed by Allen there. What I love about him, he's a center and he's not trying to be a guard. He knows who he is. Now here's Paul. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Heat in Miami. Inside. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And, and I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfectly. Irving passes to Duncan. To the left side wing. Down low. And Junior throws it down. And this has been Junior's game so far. It's obvious he's not afraid to step up and carry the offense. Now here's Paul. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Trying to get open is Ibaka. The shot by Powell, no good. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And Joe Allen will bring it up for the net. Seven-point differential. And Duncan gets it to go in. You want to put your players in a position to succeed. Case in point, getting Junior the high-percentage look. Here's Noel. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Now, here's Junior. Good on the bucket. Allen's got his second basket of the game. And you can see the floor awareness there. Junior more than capable of spotting the open teammate. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Greg, if you're a small market team, how do you convince Stark? that you've drafted and developed. Because you can be box office. You can be a, a superstar in a small market and have the name recognition uh, because of the era we, we play in. And so I, I think the biggest way to keep them there is to build a championship caliber team around them. I think that is your saving grace. If you can prove to them that you can build a championship caliber team, I, I don't really think that there is a reason to want to leave. It's a solid blueprint. Well, it's important to get points any way you can, and Ibaka's turned himself into a good free throw shooter. And both free throws good for Serge Ibaka. Nets leading by seven. Duncan outside to the inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Such a force as Allen goes to the line. A, a real throwback. Jared is a center who primarily operates near the hoop. There's a minute 47 left in the first. Now Powell. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Boucher. Offline with his three. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here, possibly over before it began. And here are the Raptors now, following the bucket by the Nets. Here's Noel. Lavert defending. And the call on the shot, it sends him to the line. It's on Jared Allen. For Toronto, they have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Last game for Brooklyn, they picked up the W against the Mavericks in Dallas. Back to Dinwiddie. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Levert the pass to Allen. And the rejection by Ibaka. And that's how you do it. Ibaka is still able to surprise people very quick off the floor. Pass to Noel. And here is Powell. And a miss there on the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. It's stolen by Davis. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's the pass to Boucher. Trying to get open is Ibaka. Boucher's shot is off. 
Brooklyn leading by nine. To the middle, here's Junior, and a missed layup. How is it possible? Wide open two. From past the arc, doesn't go for him. Junior, he is feeling it tonight and has been the driving force guys for Brooklyn. They kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a monster quarter. And of course, Gasol and Leonard won the championship together in 2019, largely, Greg, because of their ability to play defense and get stops. And two former Defensive Players of the Year on the same team, that's going to be your foundation. But both guys were tremendous at the other end as well, albeit in different ways. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, what stands out to you from the Nets in this one? You could see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also keeping them out of sync. Dinwiddie runs the point with Levert flanking him. DeAndre Jordan is out there with Junior, and it's Harris in at the three spot. That's the Nets five as we get into the second quarter. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Junior, in his last outing against the Mavericks, got the job done. He dropped in 34 points, and as he always seems to do, piled up rebound after rebound. The stat line was filled, and the whole league is talking about it. We'll see what he does for an encore tonight, Kevin. Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. And that's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Ananobi kicks to Davis. In the corner, it's Boucher. Misses the three. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Down low, Duncan. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Now the superstar players always get the headlines, but you need more great role players, it seems, as you look at the history of champions, to win. Uh, so that being said, Greg, what kind of role players do you look for? You know, Kevin, it starts on your best player, and I think you go from there. Obviously, in today's game, spot-up shooting is critically important. And then you got to factor in versatility. You need guys that can guard multiple positions, uh, that give you some rim protection, but obviously that can also shoot the basket. There's 154 left in the first half. Passes to Noel. to Boucher, Latre, Allen with the rebound. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Duncan, and it's Toronto with the rebound. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And it was one of those games where it was just hard to get anything going, and you could see frustrations emerge. But hey, a win is a win. Sometimes you're not gonna play your best, so you have to just gut it out, right? They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. Good work defensively by Ibaka. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Van Vliet against LeVert. Van Vliet attacking. He's gone from undrafted to a champion. Fred Van Vliet has come a long way, and he's not done yet in my opinion. It's his first trip to the line. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. And guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. And it's Allen with the jam. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Now here's Van Vliet. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Heat in Miami. 
And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. Shots good by Noel. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Duncan, the pass to Allen. Out to Harris. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And Vliet, right shot. Oh, good with the triple. Junior, the pass to Dinwiddie. Back to Duncan. And it's blocked. Here's Levert. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. It's the Nets. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back. You look at Junior in this one, he's been everywhere. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Raptors. And Anobi is outside at three with Ibaka down at power forward. And Van Vliet out there with Lowry. And it's Gasol and at the five. When Durant gets inside nine times out of ten, he's going to score or get fouled. And the Nets may get a change here. Jordan's checked in. Raptors trail by 20. Here's Lowry. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. When he gets into the lane, Kyle Lowry is so hard to predict, which is why he'll get to the line so often. And you look over the course of Kyle Lowry's career, he's bounced around for quite some time, but boy, has he found a home in Toronto. And you know, G.A., a few summers back, had a chance to leave, but he stayed with the Toronto Raptors. What a decision that was. The reason why he helped lead this team to their first title. Kyle Lowry's been loved by this franchise. He'll go down as one of the all-time great Raptors. And here is Van Vliet following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. Here's the teardrop. He doesn't hit that one. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. There's really nothing you can do to stop that. Durant at his height, he has a quick trigger, and he makes it look easy. Now here is Lowry. 13 points in the game, and he gets it to go. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Now here is Hardaway following the shot by Kevin Durant. Jordan kicks to Duncan over Ibaka, and Duncan gets it to go on the assist by Jordan. Jordan's got three assists in the game. And the Raptors call time here. Greg, so many people know your story, born and raised. Part of that 1990 championship team, and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it's humbling, and yes, it brings back a lot of fun. Man. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, uh, it has a historic place. It, it does. We felt like we were able to catch our mark in terms of the lowers of the game of college basketball. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Now here is Lowry. 15 points in the game. It balls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. He's been calling his own number. And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. And this game is done. They'll be off to Orlando, and they'll take on the Magic. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Oh, what a pass, and then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Here is Lowry following the basket by DeAndre Jordan. KD against Ananobi. Six to shoot. That shot is off. Durant with some nice D. And the foul called on OG Ananobi. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Luwawu is checked in for the Nets. 
Crawford comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. DeAndre is very skilled at going up into contact. Tough for the defense to be able to stop him without fouling. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. Now here is Lowry. 17 points in the game. Shoots it. That one off the back iron and out. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. And good that time. Luwawu's got eight points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Noel. He's got seven. Back to Lowry. Jacks up a three. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. Irving. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. Junior's got five assists tonight. For a guy who is 6'3", Kyrie shows us he has great confidence playing inside. Now, here's Boucher. He gives a bit of a scoring lift to the team, averaging eight points a game. Here's Noel, and it's blocked by Jordan. But he stays with it. Lowry against Irving. Lowry can't get it to go. For Brooklyn, they've gone 7-9 from the field to start this second half. Some tremendous shooting from them. And a wide-open look for Jordan. Here's Junior. Second-chance shot. Much like Marcus Gasol, DeAndre was drafted as an unpolished second-round pick. Now one of the more impactful centers around. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. Brooklyn making some changes. Harris has checked in for Luau. Harris Levert comes in for Jamal Crawford. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Johnson, he's checked in for the Raptors. Norman Powell comes in for Kyle Lowry. Noel, no good. Brooklyn's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Here's Jordan, lays it up and banks it in. Jordan's got eight here in the quarter. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. Nets have gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. And Duncan throws it down hard. Using this momentum to his advantage when Junior gets some speed behind him. Look out! Here's Noel following the bucket by the Nets. And hustle like that is why he leads this team in rebounds tonight. Controlling the glass helps them maximize their number of possessions. He's done everything he can do to help them in that area. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Toronto's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Boucher kicks the ball. Outside, Davis. Over Harris. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out, or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Now, here's Dinwiddie. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. Here's Davis. Back to Powell. Trying to end the drought. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, the defender all over him. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Gotta admire what he's been able to do. And Vliet, right side. Lowry looking around. Pass to Gasol. It doesn't go for him. Great D that time from Jordan. 
Duncan is out there with Durant. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. Then there's Irving. And it's Hardaway in at the shooting guard's position. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. And look how Junior's ability to read the defense pays off. Finds an opening and bam. Lowry has the open look. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Lowry's got 11 points here in just the second half. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for Brooklyn. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so checking out their record tonight, it'll mark win number 32 overall. And once the horn sounds, they're going to go up 2 nothing in the season series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Junior. No, there's a few ways to control a game, right? You can do it with pace, you can do it with patience and efficiency. Tonight, he did it by owning the boards. Taking no chances, they go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Now, here is Lowry. The pass to Noel. Just five to shoot. For three, Van Vliet. A shot missing. The Nets go the other way with it. Junior the pass to Irving. Loads it up for Junior. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Junior's got 32 points. An uh, impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Here's Gasol. Jordan with some nice D. Here's Duncan. Offline from the top of the key. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Then I'm out here, pass it off like it's a rally, yeah.